Welcome to your Internet of Things course, where you'll learn to use your Arduino board to control and monitor sensors and actuators without using any type of Ethernet or any type of Wi-Fi connection. You'll also learn how to display the values from sensors in real time on an interactive IoT dashboard that you'll be able to control using any device connected to a Wi-Fi network like an Android phone, a tablet, an iPhone, or any type of device that will be able to interact on your Wi-Fi network. And you'll do so while using an awesome looking dashboard. My name is Armstrong Subero, and I'll be leading through this course. I'm an author. I have several published books on microcontroller technology, and I've been using microcontrollers for quite a while, over 20 years. And... In this course, I'll share some of the insights into learning about embedded networking. I have a lot of knowledge with artificial intelligence, robotics, embedded networking, and a lot of knowledge pertaining to microcontroller technology, especially resource constraint systems. And I will share some insights into tools and techniques you could use to optimize IT visualization using a resource constrained Arduino device. So I designed this course so that anyone who's interested in using an inexpensive Arduino microcontroller to remotely monitor any type of sensor, display the value from it, control actuators. And at the end of it, you'll have a very good understanding of how you'll be able to take an Arduino board and connect it to the internet or any type of local network that you have without using any type of additional peripherals. Just your Arduino board and the serial connection. Rather than depending on the Arduino or any the microcontroller we're using to serve the web page, what we'll do is that instead of setting up an embedded web server on the device, we'll leverage the power of using an external PC or Mac or Linux device or any more powerful computer to actually do the visualization, leaving the Arduino to the real-time monitoring tasks that it's designed for. So we incrementally go along with this course. So at every stage, you'll be able to see some progress and you'll be learning as we go along. So the way we'll do this course is we'll start by looking at the hardware setup for the Arduino and write the Arduino program. Now, using this, that same Arduino program, it will serve to progress for the remainder of the course. Once you have Arduino program running, we learn about COM ports, serial connections, and reading them with Python. We'll also learn about using socket servers, socket I.O., and setting up a server on our device that we'll be using to connect to a Flash server. We'll then learn how to write code for this Flash server write in both the backend and frontend program and we'll also learn how to style our web page using tools like Bootstrap and CSS. Once you are finished with this, we'll look at how we can add graphs and charts to our IT dashboard and Fanny will look at styling it to make it very modern and very professional looking. Once you have completed this step, we'll look at how we can access our IT dashboard via Wi-Fi, and throughout this course, you'll learn tools and techniques of modern embedded development, of web development, and of server-side programming. So join me in this course as we learn how to control our Arduino, and the ideal person that will take this course probably has some experience programming the Arduino, has some experience probably looking at web development, basic web development, which means yeah have basic knowledge of HTML, CSS, or JavaScript, and you're just looking to find a way to connect your Arduino to the internet. Even if you don't have any experience, I explain things very slowly and in a simple way that anyone will be able to digest and learn from this course. So join me, and even if you're looking to set up a home um, server, a home IT, you know, control network, you're looking to set up anything with the IT, or any type of home automation project, when we have a small business looking for a solution to use without having to spend a lot, this is the course for you. 
So feel free to take a look at the introduction where I'll discuss the architecture and of course the sample videos that I provided. That's it guys and I'll see you in the course.